no slip angle right here. Terribly easy to look at. You know what a 90 degree angle is, and 100 is kind of ideal. This we were taught back in orthotic training, and I think it's really on the money. Trouble is, what we did made this worse all the time, and we didn't pay any attention to it. We just did it. The point is, it's too obtuse in most class two patients, confirming the fact that the maxilla is back. And so what you want to try to do is to bring it all forward. So let's do that whole nose lip angle thing. Here's a mother and her daughter. She was one of my, pa she was one of my patients that I first did bioblock orthotropics on in the very early 1990s. And this woman had a missing upper lateral and a peg lateral. And she had the, the missing lateral space closed, the peg lateral was extracted, the teeth were retracted back, and two lower second bys were extracted and everything was pulled back and that was her face. Her daughter, excuse me, was missing a lateral and had a peg lateral. We opened the space up for an implant, opened the space up for a veneer, and pushed the teeth even further forward. And we got this result for her. Had we done the same thing that she'd had, she would have looked exactly like her mom. Now, this was one of my early efforts in bioblock orthotropics, and had I, if I had her to treat over again, I can guarantee you I would have a better looking face than this. But it shows the nose lip angle and the difference in these two and how your face will perceive it. A lot of people will say, is my child going to have that orthodontic look? Well, this is what they're referring to, the orthodontic look right over here, where the, the maxilla basically just melts away. <laughs>